You guys have known for a while that we're moving our store to a brand new location, but we haven't told you exactly where it is. So we're at the current store right now. Let's go check out the new spot. Oh god. <laughs> That's our new store right there. Yeah, that dumpster. <laughs> we couldn't get too close, there's people working there. Yeah. That's okay. How was the drive? Very short. Look, look at this freaking parking lot. Yeah, look at our brand new awesome parking lot. We have all the space and we're right next to Kenji's Ramen and Grill. It's kind of is awesome. Ria, Very do you yummy. think so? Yeah. So, I'm already fat. Let's show you guys the outside of the building. Since you haven't seen it yet, we'll maybe look at the inside too. It's so beautiful. So, this is right outside the front. We have the nice little, I don't know what this is called, <laughs> the little ramp here. And our spot goes from right there all the way down to the end. And this is our little display window you guys have seen the inside of. And we're gonna have a sign right up here. And we're also gonna have one on the other side of the building. So I'm walking around the other side of the building. This street right here is Mill Plain. This is one of the busiest and most traffic streets in all of Vancouver. And look how close we are. Bam, that's our spot. We are going to have a sign right there. And at the entrance over here where you guys saw me drive in, there's also a sign there. So we're gonna have two sign tree things and then we're gonna have a big sign right here we're getting a new one made and it's gonna be nine feet long pretty awesome huh of course there's another siren going off there's a hospital across the street so there's probably gonna be a lot of ambulance sounds and stuff but there it is guys there's the new store contractors are still working so if you are local and you are going to come by and like check it out please do not bother them they have work to do but there it is, guys. For now, we gotta get back to the store, so we have orders to pull this morning. We got a package in the mail. Oh. Here's what we got. Got some GameCube and a Wii game here. And then <clears throat> pretty big PS, not super big, but a nice collection of PS2 games here. Some pretty good titles mixed in, a little bit of filler as well but these are all in very, very nice condition. The cases are not gonna need cleaning. They don't have stickers on them, nothing like that. So this is gonna be pretty sweet. And the best game of the bundle right there, that Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. So <clears throat> this stuff is not in the system yet, obviously I just opened it, but it'll probably be entered soon. Thank you so much, Andres. Tags are actually printing right now and that package is now entered. So if you were interested in anything that you saw, they are all gonna be on the website. Is this a train? It is. Also, good morning. Good morning. This is the first clip of today. And it's... Even though it's 2.30? 2.30 p.m. Yeah. We've just been busy. It has been very busy for a Thursday. Look at these beautiful games. Getting stickered. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh. We have this beautiful copy of Panzer Dragon Saga here that's on hold for someone. 
person that to put this on hold did that big trick collection trading and they want this one never played the Caves of the Dragon Saga is it good? no you ride dragons yeah that's why it's called Dragon Saga the main dragon his name is Panzer mm -hmm. he has this ability where anytime you press the X button on the Saturn controller he does like a backflip but What's it called when you do a backflip and you do a full like 360 spin at the same time? That's what he does. Uh, I don't know. The box is uh, it's not holding. We'll have to go ahead and get that retested. Yep. It's okay. <laughs> Hey guys, my staff pick today is Baldur's Gate 3. This game's available on PC as well as PS5 and it's coming soon to Xbox um, Series X and then uh, Series S with limited multiplayer uh, accessibility. This is a game based in the Forgotten Realms part of the Dungeons & Dragons franchise. It is the third game of the Baldur's Gate series, of the main Baldur's Gate series, though you do not need to play the other games to know what is going on. Most of the stuff is new story, new characters. There are some returning stuff from those other games, but you don't really need to have played them to understand um, anything that goes on. Everything is well thought out and explained in the story. Um, this is a, um, this is a, it's an RPG, but it's, um, it's like a turn-based tactical kind of game. Um, it's made by the same people that made Divinity, Original Sin, and Original Sin 2. Those are very popular CRPGs. Um, I don't know what the C stands for. Stop judging me. Uh, it is a very long game as well. There is so much content and a lot of stuff is just left up to player choice. So a lot of your story elements and interactions with characters, your relationships with them is all determined by you and um, your choices throughout the story. And there are many different ways to handle encounters. You can avoid a lot of battles. You can um, find other ways to progress through the battle. Um, there are some even fun ways to do it. Like uh, I know in one boss fight, I was I was really struggling. So I decided to split my party up in two and I sent half them in to start the cutscene. And then while the cutscene was going, I sent the other people in and I just pushed the guy off a cliff and he died and I got the full experience and it just progressed as normal from there. Um, really fun ways you can do that. Um, there's another one where you can get an item that um, does compounding damage depending on how much gold an enemy is holding in their inventory so you can sneakily reverse pit pocket huge amounts of gold into someone and then just sneak attack them with this weapon and they instantly die um, that's another way i've dealt with a couple bosses just just for fun um, it's all up to up to how you want to enjoy the game and i think it's really my game of the year um, there have been a lot of great games this year in 2023, especially with Tears of the Kingdom and Spider-Man 2, but Baldur's Gate 3 really, really took me by surprise, and I absolutely loved it. They're, the characters are all incredibly well-written, the story is very well thought out, well-paced, um, and the mystery of why you're there and what's happening is, is very well unwrapped. Like, as it unravels and you start to figure things out, it's, it's just... An incredible experience. I won't say much more about like the story or anything uh, because if you're interested in playing it I highly highly recommend going into it without knowing what's going on beforehand. Um, that'll just make the experience so much more enjoyable. It is it does play differently than the first two Baldur's Gate games so if you're expecting that kind of experience with real-time combat it's not. It's turn-based and there's no option for real-time combat. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If that's not your style of game, then it, mm, this might be a good jumping on point for the genre. But if you're really not a fan of it, I, of the genre, I don't think this game would, um, would be for you. Um, it, I think the first game in the genre that I played was Divinity Original Sin 2, and I really loved that one. Uh, but this one just completely... It's the culmination of this, of Larian Studios' effort. And I, I just really want more people to experience it even though it's already one of the most popular games on steam so definitely
definitely check it out. It's on PS5, physical version, hopefully coming soon. We won't, we don't actually, there's no confirmation, but hopefully we get some kind of physical version soon because I would, I would eat it up. So yeah, please check it out. So Bobby and I are heading over to the new store real quick to drop off some stuff that got delivered. So I'm just gonna film it again, show you guys once again how close it is. Loading stuff in. Look at all these boxes. Those chickens. And our two arcade games. Bobby loves Ghost Squad. <laughs> you should pick up one of those guns. Come on, that's that top. Yeah, it's got a little flashlight. It's so cool. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. vibrates too when you shoot. I always thought that was a cool little. <laughs> well, feature they that's do. very cool but look at all this stuff guys it goes all the way into the corner there there's a lot that we're gonna have to unpack and put together and build and all sorts of stuff uh, and then uh, just go through the wall here they are putting studs up in the windows here they only have a couple over here but you can see they did that side that is so we can hang slat wall on the inside. So <clears throat> the windows are going to be blacked out just like they did with those ones back there. And they're blacking. Well, they were just going to black out that little one. We were going to put banners in the windows here to kind of advertise to the road out here. But the landlord came back after I sent a picture of what we were thinking. And he's like, well, you know, according to the lease, you're not supposed to put anything in the windows like that. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Okay, so instead they have to get blacked out, which sucks, but you know, it's better than nothing. Um, sunlight shines through these. And when we have product on the wall here, you don't just want an open window like this because that's what we have at our current spot. And in the summer, when we open up the cabinets to get, to get games out, it's so hot. Like the games are physically hot, which is not good. So blacking this out and then putting our slat wall here then having a glass case is going to really help with that. But still, right above these windows here, there will be a gigantic double jump sign facing Mill Plane. So everyone will be able to see. And this place is going to be filled. It's going to be the coolest retro video game store anyone has ever seen. Guaranteed. Or what? Just, Just guaranteed. It's going to happen. Okay. And don't worry about this side door, guys. We have plenty of things we're doing. It's going to be nice and secure. Also, they filled in the concrete here. They covered it, but you can see right here. Because the water fountains that are in the kitchen used to be on a wall right here. So they had to dig a trench, put the pipes in there. They ran them all through there. And now we have water fountains in our kitchen. Yay! Woo! Leaving the new store. And I don't know if you guys know... But they're building a Raising Cane's right here, which is like like two places down from where our new store is going to be. I'm excited. Time for trades. Just a heads up, a lot of this is still from that collection that we got in, um, but a lot of it's new stuff. And then we actually have a lot more from that collection that will be shown in another clip or on another day. Starting off, we have some Pokemon card packs, Switch games and ps3 games <laughs> and fist of the north star pokemon pearl some loose cartridges 
on a shell modded Game Boy Color. This pretty cool cyberpunk book that I'm pretty sure Ariel was supposed to buy. I'm not sure if she still wanted it. And then we have PS3 titles right here. Deadpool that got delisted and now it's expensive. Other Xbox One titles. You're gonna be seeing like quite a few sports titles because like <clears throat> if we don't have one in stock, we'll take it. Um, but if we have like two or more, depending on what it is, like how long they sit on the shelves, we might pass on it. So we did get a pretty large trade in with quite a few titles, but we needed them, so we took them in. We have F-Zero GX, Haunted Mansion, Batman and Blue Dragon, the special edition Viva Pinata, used to be very expensive. And then for a PS2 title, some GTA, Guitar Hero, Wipeout, Metal Gear, Toys, Toy Story 3, got a Rocksmith bundle and Forza 4. Got another hard drive traded in, 4 terabyte, some Wii titles. Nothing crazy in the Wii titles, just stuff that we needed. And then I skipped the PS4 games. We have Dragon Quest IX, that's a PAL one. Octopath Traveler 2, that's, that's a North American copy. And then we have some original Xbox. Serious Sam has no manual, but there's The Hobbit and Zapper, which I feel like are kind of uncommon, cheaper titles. Street Volume 2 and Splatoon. Some more original Xbox games. This Fallout Plasma Zapper. And then we have some N64 titles. These are custom cases. These are not real boxes or real box artwork. Got an Ocarina of Time manual and a Mario Kart 64 one. And then got some cartridges. This poor guy's got tape down it that ripped on both sides. And Star Fox 64 cart only. And then we have some complete box items that came in from a new customer who moved down here from Arizona. Castlevania, Terminator, Rad Racer, Kirby, Mario's. Very nice trade-ins. Oh, I skipped this part as well. We got Dragon Quest 7 or 8. Sorry, I can't count. Michael Jackson, does it have? Does it have a glove? No glove. Bummer. And Mario Wear Smooth Moves and Mario Strikers. Okay, bye. If you guys had to come up with a question of the day, what would it be? Because we've been sitting here for 15 minutes and we can't think of one. 20 minutes. We've been sitting here for 20 minutes. Ooh, I got a question. <gasps> um, question? If, if you had to, would you? Bobby? I say purple. My answer is no. <laughs> Bye. Bye. New store, huh? <laughs>